I do not want to sound like a broken record, but it's important to restate what we mean by free senior high school so that no one has any lingering doubts. By free senior high school, we mean that in addition to tuition, which is already free, there will be no admission fees. No library fees. No science center fees. No computer lab fees. No examination fees. No utility fees. There will be free textbooks, free boarding, and free meals. What's up beautiful people of Ghana and beyond? I welcome you to another video on here. Cannot count how many days of hard work and we are still going strong. I appreciate you all for always showing up here as much as I am showing up. If you think I'm working hard enough, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> So today we are going to the eastern region and precisely we are going to Udumasi area that is Sumanya Udumasi Aziz to take a look at the Krubo girls. So let us go take a look at the Krubo girls and then I will be back. Let's go. Welcome to the vibrant and dynamic world of Krobo Girls Senior High School, a beacon of excellence in education. Nestled in the heart of Ghana, this prestigious institution is known for nurturing young minds, fostering leadership skills, and empowering future female leaders. Krobo Girls was founded in 1927. Jo
to the 2018 edition of the National Science and Math Quiz. We are in the quarterfinals. This is also the Money Zone, sponsored by GCB Bank. What that means is that each point end is worth five Ghana CDs. Contestants, three contestants and one teacher from each school is going to earn this amount of money. Isn't that nice? Yes. Very nice. All right. Anyway, this is the penultimate quarterfinal contest, and it's going to feature St. Margaret Mary Senior High School, <laughs> Holy Child School, <laughs> and Crobo Girls Senior High School. <laughs> Let's meet the contestants. Crobo Girls Senior High School. Robo Girls Senior High School is represented by Obin Opoko Ajuma in my final year. Harriet Fiago did the final year. You're welcome, ladies. Thank you very much. How are you doing? We are fine. Good by God's grace. Wonderful. Quarter finals. What does that mean to you? I know it's the greatest feeling we've ever had in our life. Really? Already? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know. And so this contest, what shall we expect? Okay, we'll do our best and we know God will do the rest. All right, best wishes to you. Holy Child School. Holy Child School is represented by five young ladies and one gentleman. It's normally the other way around. <laughs> anyway, it should be an interesting contest. Before I sit down, I would like to acknowledge that the National Science and Math Quiz is sponsored by the Ghana Education Service through the Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools. We also have support from GCB Bank, Accra College of Medicine, Medifem Multi-Specialist Hospital and Fertility Center, Lancaster University, Ghana, Academic City College, West African Center for Cell Biology of Infectious Pathogens, WACBEB, Awake Purified Drinking Water, GTP, MFA jewelry and haughty makeup. Oh, with a preamble, 30 seconds. Given f of x is equal to 2x minus 3 and g of x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2, evaluate. Global girls, f of g of 2. Jimaima. f of g of 2 is equal to negative 3. Yes. Senior Krobo and the Krobo girls, listen. Find the reactance of a 20 millihenry inductor at an angular frequency of 300 rad per second. Yes, Krobo girls. So we have the, we have the reactance to be six ohms. That is correct. Kobo Girls has qualified, it did not come on a silver platter for them. Um, at the end of the contest, it was a tiebreaker question that earned them the opportunity to be on the big stage in October. And as you can see, they are very excited. Tears of joy for one of the contestants who has been crying. Hi, what's your name? Luciante. <laughs> okay, why are you crying? <laughs> it's tears of joy. <laughs> <laughs> why? What happened? What happened on stage? Like, because of the tie breaking, like I was feeling nervous, but by God's grace, you could answer our question. Mm. So I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. yeah. What, made, what made you so nervous? Is it the pressure from old students and your teachers to perform better, to qualify? Because I don't like um, um, tie breaks. Okay. Yes. What should we What should we expect in the national competition? Krobo girls. Will we'll Krobo be shining? Yes, please. Do our best. <laughs> to be with us, to keep up your banner, and everywhere may Krobo shine. We love of the Almighty, who work hard to place our fame, and leave us your motto, the best for the highest Krobo. Oh, yes! 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 O
that schoolboy is shining. Oh, is it yeah. your cut better? Are you cut yes, better? Yes, I'm one of them. Okay. Yeah. What is the feeling like? I'm qualified. Uh, yeah, we are very, very excited. We are very, very excited because it has not been easy. Easy preparing since last year at this point. It has been very tiring. But by the grace of God, we've made it. So we are hoping to be in Accra and also perform as we have done here. Funny enough, I know, don't get irritated. I've been here before, okay? I know here, but I didn't know about the school. I didn't know there's a school like this located in this part of the country, all right? So i been to almost every nook and corner of the country, but dear Ghanaians, I'm not spying on you. I, I was just traveling and taking a look and wanting to know Ghana more than just, you know, living in Ghana. So I wanted to get to understand the country, the culture, the people, the mindset, especially the uniqueness. And I was very confused when I came, given the fact that every Everyone could understand a language so <laughs> that was something that sparked my curiosity to start traveling coupled with the fact that there are so many natural places to visit in Ghana and I I am a big lover of nature so I traveled around and at some point I was here and I made videos all right I wanted to say I made a video but I made videos so I have been taking a look at ex students of schools since I started this series but today on is different I feel like your president have done you good don't come for me Mr. Akufado is not contesting again so if I'm speaking good of him he's not contesting he's not about to re you know be re-elected to go back back into the jubilee house to become the president okay so allow me to just appreciate him and his tenor don't attach any political whatever to it okay but i feel like he is forever going to be remembered and for those who do not appreciate it now uh, in, in 10 years time okay you know <laughs> the culture of giving back to alma mater is a must and this school is not left behind because the Krobo girls are highly placed. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. Like, you know, some of them, they are popular. And some of them are very dear. So, let's go to their... Let's go check the S girls of the Krobo girls and see how they come back to give back to their alma mater. And I will be back. Let's go. <laughs>
celebrating 90 years of the establishment of this famous institution of learning. And I'm grateful to the authorities for the opportunity to deliver this brief address. From humble beginnings in Abokobi in 1923 to Krobo in 1925 and the formal opening of the school in 1927 by the celebrated governor, Gordon Gadgesburg, some two hours before the opening of your sister school of Achimota, Krobo Girls has come a long way to achieving the vision aptly captured in your motto, the best on the highest. In every sector of our national life, past students of Krobo Girls continue to make their mark and play significant roles in the development of our country. Two of your alumni readily come to mind, especially as they are both prominent members of our party, the new Patriotic Party. One was my deputy as Attorney General, and just like me, she has now been promoted to substantive position of Attorney General and Minister for Justice. She is in the person of Gloria Efia Ekufo. The other, also a colleague minister in the government of that outstanding Ghanaian leader, President John Ajikum Kufo, and a former member of parliament for Lejikuku, is Dr. Gladys Norley. Ashite. There are several others who excelled in their various fields of endeavor, largely as a result of the solid educational foundation they received here at Krobo Girls. I call to all, both past and present, who have made this remarkable feat possible. I want to single out particularly the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, represented today by its eminent moderator, the Reverend Cephas Omenyo, which like other churches has made such a huge contribution to the social and educational development of our country. I know that the new dynamic Minister for Education, Matthew Opoku Prempe, MP for Mencia South in Kumasi, is determined to intensify the involvement of religious organizations in the mission schools. He has my support. And I would like to ask him also to see to the building of the 18 classroom unit the headmistress is seeking. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the legendary James Quagia Agri told the now familiar story about the importance of educating the girl child. He said, and he has been quoted often, including today, that to educate a boy child was to educate an individual, whereas to educate a girl child was to educate the society. The census of 2010 tells us that women constitute over 51% of our population. If we are to transform the lives of our people, if we are to transform our economy from a raw material producing and exporting one to a value added one, 
we need a literate population. Therefore, achieving excellence in girls' education is a must if we are to shed off the evils of poverty, ignorance and disease and put our country onto the path of progress and prosperity. Several studies across the world have indicated that investing in girls' education is arguably the most effective measure any developing nation can employ to improve its standard of living. It is also widely acknowledged that educating girls produces considerable social and welfare benefits, such as lower infant mortality and fertility rates. Again, research has found out that the mother's level of education has a direct influence on economic productivity of both her family and the nation. In the words of our illustrious compatriot, Kofi Annan, erstwhile United Nations Secretary General at the World Economic Forum in 2000, and he says, and I quote, no development strategy is better than one that involves women as central players. It has immediate benefits for nutrition, health, savings, and reinvestment at the family, community, and ultimately country level. In other words, educating girls is a social development policy that works. It is a long-term investment that yields an exceptionally high return. We need those with power to change things, to come together in an alliance for girls' education. Governments, voluntary progressive groups, and above all, local communities, schools, and families. End of quote. We every day lament the fact that we started from the same pedestal as nations like Malaysia, Singapore. I do not want to sound like a broken record, but it's important to restate what we mean by free senior high school so that no one has any lingering doubts. By free senior high school, we mean that in addition to tuition, which is already free, there will be no admission fees. No library fees. No science center fees. No computer lab fees. No examination fees. No utility fees. There will be free textbooks, free boarding, and free meals. Standing ovation, sir. Standing ovation, sir. Hello, President Nana Akufo Addo. So, dear President Nana Akufo Addo is not coming back to to be re-elected into the Jubilee House or so to continue to rule. All right. So allow me praise him for some things. All right. Without anyone attaching politics on it. So this has nothing to do with politics. Okay. But the truth is we are forever going to remember Mr. President Nana Akufado. If not for any other thing if we have not experienced any good thing at least this free senior high school idea agenda 
in Ghana is something that we all are forever going to remember President Nana Akufado for. Going to remember him for this. Close your eyes and imagine Ghana. Just close your eyes and imagine the next 10 years. Many of these students are already in universities or those that leave school to go learn a trade or something. Those that travels abroad and all that. Those that become teachers. Just imagine what Ghana is going to become. Having so many literate people around, especially literate women. See... It's cool old to be a literate man. But man, it is cooler to be a literate babe. Like, there is nothing uncool about it. And we are forever going to remember this man for the free, free senior high school program in Ghana. And I am praying that whoever is coming should have this agenda in mind. I beg you. Because me, I want to sit down here and do these videos, okay? Yeah, so that is that. Let's go back to the school and do random tour and I will be back to give my two cent. Let's go. Now in a very last story, they had to jump many hurdles even before the main challenge of qualifying for the National Science and Mass Quest. Their vehicle broke down and routes to the Nat Hall in the eastern region, forcing them to arrive late for the quiz. Now that is the story of Krobo Girls Senior High School. But the girls were not bogged down by the challenges and managed to ride out of the storm to qualify for the national competition. Maxwell Ababa has more in the following report. Kobo Girls has qualified for the national, um, the national championship later this year. It was a cliffhanger of a contest, um, but it managed to beat in Koko Senior High School, Diaspora Girls Senior High School, Presley um, Senior High School, Begro, and then Asimante Senior High School. I have an old student here with me. I have an old student and then a contestant. The contestants, wait, I'll talk to you. An old student. What's your name? My name is Michelle Azuma. I'm very excited, very excited. I, at a point, I was, I was getting nervous because of my Manchester, but I actually uh, trusted the girls, so I'm yeah, I'm excited. What does it mean to you? What does this victory mean to you guys? Um, it just tells um, people that like we're on fire. Yes, like we have, we are our school. It's also like um, there. Like we have teachers who are devoted, preparing students to excel in things like MSMQ. Okay. What, what was your fondest memories in Kobo Girls? Was fondest memories in Kobo Girls? Um, being in the NSMQ, my uh, in the NSMQ. Yes, I was last the year. team leader for last year. So yes, so yes. So that whole section and being because our life was a bit separated from the life of the school. So that was that I had to have fun with it. So you know, having fun with it. Yes, yes. So now let's talk to the contestants. Contestants, congratulations. Tell me, what is the feeling like for you guys? We're so happy. We are so happy right now because we had very little time to prepare even when we were coming our bus got messed up but god on the road on the road we came here we came in here very late but then god helped us and we have failed through we are just so happy god has given us this victory
education something is something that is is a, is a, I know is a risky one okay for any government to take on is a risky responsibility because <laughs> do you know i don't want to talk about the school fees please okay take that away and there's something i didn't state earlier all right i as a parent <laughs> i have a child in a private school in ghana and her school fees is somewhere around somewhere but by the time i pay all these things that the president listed in the video you will not believe the amount that it amounts to is a lot of money at the end of the day so for someone to take off this body off you is a big deal appreciate and take advantage of it there is no one that has any excuse not to be educated in ghana yo i all i see is fairness and justice the truth is when i'm doing this off accra off the city off cape coast reactions i mean when i'm taking a look at schools that are not situated in kumasi accra cape coast takrade or ho i always go there with little expectation because i feel like oh these are not really cities or big towns like that so but when i get there it's always a pleasant surprise and to me it represents fairness that have been talking about justice so you don't make up excuse you don't say okay eh, these people are not getting electricity or they are not getting or they are not getting basic education because they live in the village there is no excuse i am from a country so whatever the people in the city enjoys i should also enjoy it and this is what i'm talking about you know i'm glad with the discovery in each of these schools that i'm paying i'm taking a look at and i hope that you did enjoy this video and that i will see you in my next one ciao